In this lesson, we're going to explore various joint properties that are available for two or more tables. I have my two tables. The first one is account list October. So let's open that one first. And on this table, I have accounts number, account balance for October and open date. And I have 19 records. And I'm going to compare this table to November. So open November and I have 22 records. 19 records are more or less the same, at least in terms of the accounts number. So 19 accounts will match and I opened three extra accounts in November. Also, the balances for each account have changed because people added money or they withdrew some cash. Okay, so now I wanna compare these two accounts together. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to the create tab here and start a new query and add the two tables to my query. So the first one is October on the left and the second one is November. In the past lesson, in order to link them, we took accounts number from one table and we dragged it to another table and access created a link. In order to analyze data, we need to take all the fields from tables and drag them to our working area at the bottom. Okay, so let's take account number, account balance and date from October, drag it to the bottom and let's do the same for November. Okay, finally, I'm going to double click on my joiner here just to see what happens. So I have three options for my joiner, okay? The first one is include rows where the joint fields from both tables are equal, okay? So what does it actually mean? What it means is if I find an account number which is the same in both tables, if I find that record, I want to display that record to the user, okay? So let's save this table first. I'm gonna save it as eight join. And I'm gonna run the query. Okay, so the output is actually 19 records. It's not 22, it's 19 because we only found 19 account numbers that match, that are available in both tables. What I can do in this query though, I can start analyzing the balances to see how they changed month over month. So for example, for the first account, the balance was a thousand and it became 1100. And I can look at other balances as well. If you go back to the design view and double click on the joiner here, let's select the second option. And the second option says include all records from October and only those records from November where joint fields are equal. Okay, I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, this joiner changes to an arrow. And what I'm asking Access to do is I'm saying show me all records in October and anything from November that matches records in October in terms of the accounts number. So actually as an output, I'm expecting 19 records because I know that I have less records in October. So let's run it and check our logic. So once again, the table looks the same or the query looks the same. I have 19 records um, in total and I have records for October and November in the same query. So pretty much looks the same as the previous query. Let's go back and play with our joiner again. We're gonna select option three, which is going to be a little bit different, okay? So what it says is include all records from November and only those records from October that match, okay? We know prior to designing this query that we have more records in November and we're going to include all of them and only those records from October that match the November records. Okay, so I'm actually expecting 22 records in this case. 
Let's press OK and explore. So I'm going to go and run this query. And this is exactly what happens. So I have 22 records. I have about 19 records for October, which is the first three columns. And I have 22 records for November. And as you can see, the October records here on the left are empty because those accounts were not opened yet. Now they are opened, I have more accounts and my balances for other accounts have shifted as well. So once again, this option, um, the joiner options are very useful when it comes to analyzing data from one month to another or when comparing tables.